This training is seen as the first step towards implementing a project on swimming for Gambians, particularly children, so as to help save lives. Even though the Gambia is surrounded by water, many of its people are said to have little knowledge of swimming. To improve that, the Gambia Press Union, in partnership with the Danish journalist NGO, embarked on this training to train officials of the Gambia Swimming Association, Red Dolphins Lifeguard Association, and the Sport Journalist Association of the Gambia to develop a pilot project so as to remedy the situation and help save lives. It is also our concern when somebody goes to sea and disappears. We feel the journalists have not done their work. If they do their work in communicating, in, in sp spreading the message around, maybe those lives that are lost would not have been lost. Swimming is now very important and it is very prominent, um, not only in the sub-region but also across the world. Uh, some people use it uh, as a way of getting income, really, and it's a very famous sport now. So, besides football, when we can also develop these other sporting activities that will enable people to live a long and healthier life because sports is all about I mean, the health and well-being of an individual. Many lives are reported to have been lost at sea due to the nature of people not being able to swim and this is said to have instilled a sense of fear at sea, discouraging many from swimming. Swimming, according to experts, is very important as a sport. It's also good for the health of people. For Tanya, a communication instructor and instructor of the concluded training, this has been a success and she is certain that the group has what it takes to implement the swimming pilot project. You showed me so much passion and so much eagerness to learn and um, so great will to make this project a success. And I think you have what it takes. For the participant, this training has nurtured their skills in communication and what it takes to implement a project. And as such, they are confident of implementing the swimming project in the Gambia. If you look at um, the aim of this project, that is to save lives. Because if you train people how to swim, you are actually saving life. So I would say that it's very important for Gambia Swimming Association in two ways. That is one, its life will be saved and then also we will... It will also create an avenue for us to have more students. It is a very, big, um, it is a very good uh, collaboration between these three groups because if you look at uh, what we thought is to, to market um, swimming outside to encourage young people to engage on, in swimming. If you look at the people that we are losing are all young people. So if they engage in, in, in swimming activities, that will be really helpful. So with, with these two teams, uh, we can do a lot. As journalists, um, we have been reporting a series of cases. Um, involving people who drown at sea. And then uh, the public also is concerned about this uh, increase in drowning at sea. So the project uh, being here for us to be able to equip this general public as to how they will do to equip themselves from, from, from the dangers of the sea is, is a very welcome one. And I think um, we as a journalist will do all our best to be able to collaborate with other partners here, the swimming uh, association in the Red Dolphin, be able to spread out uh, positive information about swimming and in, uh, encourage people to come up and start doing swimming lessons. Now that they have been trained, the participants are now expected to work as a group so as to implement what they have learned in a pilot project on swimming, which is expected to be replicated in the form of a long-term project to help save lives. Rohibite, GRTS.